Okay, folks, the stream's back live here for the boys' game. We'll let you watch the pregame here for a few minutes, and then we'll come back in on it as soon as we get down a little closer to game time. We've got about eight minutes to go here in our pregame warm-ups. And then, uh, so Derek, I was just saying, Derek just came on, guys. Folks, uh, I was just telling the, the audience, Derek, that we're going to we're gonna go silent for a couple of minutes, let right. them enjoy the pregame here, and right. then we'll come back at them about a minute or two before tip-off. Sounds good to me. All right. Stay with us, folks. TongueEagles.tv. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs>
Okay, friends, we're about to have our announce announcements come out for who's going to start and both these for both these teams. The Tonga students are all lined up here, ready to greet our starters on the floor. Yep. Loving this tradition. I'm going to make a camera adjustment over there, Derek. I'll be right back. Go, ladies and gentlemen, your Matanga Eagles men's basketball team. There he is, DeAndre Dunn. Had a great tournament. They won the tournament. Got to be feeling good. Haven't played in a while. But I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, they have met and exceeded Stephen I's early season expectations. In a real way. Yep, they sure have. And, you know, that first game was tough against Hinton, but they've played a different style of basketball, a completely different yeah, game yeah, ever yeah. since. I know it. I know it. I know it. And, you know, Steve, it's, it, it, again, we'll talk about this, you know, more in the game, but just, you know, having your superstar not play. Right. And he brings a whole different ball game. Well, he sure does. And you can see the kids out there, and I call them kids because, folks, yeah, a lot of these guys are high school seniors. Right. But they're right. still kids, and right. uh, they like to have fun, and so you can see them having fun now. Yes. Because their expectation is they're going to yes. win, and it's more fun to win <laughs> it than it's not. Yeah, it's, it's, more, <laughs> hey, it's more fun to ex expect to win, you know yep. what I mean? Yep. To expect to win, so yeah. All right, so here's what we're looking at. So the the great big tall players on Okarchi's team are not on the floor to start this basketball game. So we're going to start off with a... Kind of a guard-looking package. Yeah, actually, kind of match up really well with us. Tip goes to Okarchi. And we're underway here. Both teams dribble. Nice move, oh, but good block. Very right there nice by block. White shield. Some great dribbling there by Devin Wilson, but the Okarchi Warriors just able to pick the ball away. Yep. Dunn came out with it. White shirt, now back to Dunn. Reyes. Nice look. Eagles whipping nice the look. ball around. Nice look. Wilson able to finish right there under the basket. Nice look. Out of bounds. Looked like it went off race. Race is uh Reyes's leg. Early. First minute. Two nothing. Home team. Out of bounds. Well, unable to yep. finish on the little jumper there. DeAndre Dunn over to Phoenix White Shirt. Wilson? Wilson. Now Wilson thought about popping that. Now Reyes, Reyes does. And I tell you what, Steve, they leave him open like that all night. They're going to have some problems. Yes, they will. Stop, pop. So great discipline defense there by White Shirt. He's going to pop that. Yep. Doesn't quite come away with it. Tired early timeout right now. Okarchi having trouble getting on the scoreboard. The Batonga Eagles, too. Again, nice crowd. Love to see the hometown come out on a Friday night. Sure do. And support these young men and women. For all of you listening out there, thanks for tuning in. Eagle Nation, we got us two very good basketball teams. So the, the Watonga Eagles, the champions of the men's bracket of the Minko tournament. Mm -hmm. Yes. Walking away with the big hardware there and bringing it home from putting it in the trophy case. Exactly. And I was trying to ask 
a statistician we haven't found. I can't remember the last time a boy men's boy team won a basketball tournament. Yeah, I can't tell. I couldn't tell you that. Um, we do need a statistician. Yeah, <laughs> we do. <laughs> You're right. We could do so much more. Well, we really could. We really could. We really could. Oh, Okarchi losing the handle on that one. That's going to be with Tonga basketball. Yeah. Okarchi. So this is our first real look at an inbounds on our end, and Okarchi's going to press full court. Let's come out with a full court press. Full court press. Done. Wilson, stop, pop, white shield. White shield with some great offensive rebounding effort right there. Reyes. Follows his shot. Good fundamental basketball right uh, there. That's going to be a charge on Reyes, and we don't want him to get in early foul trouble, but good hustle right there by, by, these, by your Watonga Eagles. Great energy to start the game. Like I said, these are two cross-town rivals. We don't see him in football. We we'll always see him in basketball. Underneath, big guy, 45. Oh, and that's going to be a foul on Larry White Show. Yeah, so, you know, long ago when you and I played, Derek, they coached us to go straight up because when you come down on a ball like that, they're going to call you whether you touch him or not a lot of times. Right. Now, these days they're letting them play with a lot more contact. Yep. And so you see some of those those chops down on a player don't get called as right. a foul sometimes. But it's just kind of the, if you're going to play the percentages, don't chop down on them, and you probably have a lot better chance of not getting a foul. No doubt. No doubt. Great perspective. So Karchi able to get on the board there. Yep. Two to one. Early on. Five minutes, 45 seconds left. First quarter. Both teams filling each other out. Both teams in the press. Nice pass right there. Yeah, so Dunn. <laughs> Dunn sees the floor better than everybody else sometimes. <laughs> sometimes he sees you're open and you don't know you're open. You know what I've noticed about him, Steve? Uh, it, he, he really does a good job of trying to get his teammates involved. Yep, early good. on, early on. Then knowing when to take over. Dunn. Of course, they know who he is. He had a great tournament. Amazing tournament. Stay with Tonga. Yep, poked out of there by number 31 on Okarchi's side. Reyes inbounds it. He'll get the ball to Wilson. Love how Wilson uses his left hand on the dribble. No doubt. We talked about that in the first game. Oh, there we go. That'll be a foul yep. on White Shield to go to the line here. He'll go through the line. Good presence right now inside. Just by the look of things early, Steve. Yeah. It's like he could dominate right now. Down low. Yeah, I think so. He's definitely has the athletic ability and the height for it. The question is, you know, does he feel it? Right. And does he stay out of foul trouble? Right. So, White Shield knocking down one of his two. Okarchi pulling it up quick. Another steal. DeAndre Dunn. DeAndre Dunn. Great anticipation. We'll get it over. Should have numbers. Oh, oh a little whoa. too high for even for White Shield to catch. Yep. Well, it, it, this place would have went bananas if they would have done Yes, sir. <laughs> he would, Okarchi bringing it up. Good move inside. He'll get the foul on Phoenix White shirt. So I'm going to note here, Derek, uh, I see something on the sideline that we've not seen yet this year. I see big old Mr. Octavian yeah. Brown with uh, shorts sure on. You sure do, Steve. Oh, you sure do. And shorts and not sweats. Exactly. I talked to Coach before the game, and he's on a minutes restriction. Uh, just says... We know how valuable he is right now and will be later on. So, yeah, we get a chance to, we're excited to get a chance to see him in this game. He'll get the shooter's bounce. It'll go in 3-2 here early. 
Not a lot of scoring. A lot of good defense, pressure defense. Had some good conversation with Coach Cole prior to the game about how the coaching staff is breaking these games down for the players and helping them to take things little chunks at a time. What did he say? Many goals. Many goals. Many goals. Coach Cole. DeAndre Dunn. Oh, that's going to be a charge oh, on DeAndre. Going to call charge on him. And that was kind of a weird looking kind of. It was. It was. He tried not to jump into the guy, yeah. and the guy fell down anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah, probably looking like, man, you weigh 100 more pounds than me. <laughs> but good defense, good play. Hey, good basketball game early on. Defensive basketball game early on. Good yeah, steal there, yeah. done. Yeah. Picking that guy's pocket, getting the ball back. And throwing and pushing and running. The court. Finishing with the left hand. Oh, my. Catch that on the play. This kid got the juice, man. Right hand, left hand. Three-pointers. Let's see if we caught that here, Derek. Just a beautiful move. I hope we did, Steve. Yep. And we that did. Left hand. Just the left Look hand. At that. With the body control, the body lean. Fun stuff to watch. Exactly. Right there. And just to be able to finish. There's another steal. Almost. He's going hard right now. Going he wants very it. hard. Yeah, he does. He wants it. He's. I love to see people getting on the court and just <laughs> fighting for those yep. loose balls. 50-50 balls. Done poking another one out there. So, you know, we talk a lot about uh, sneaking up behind people and poking that ball out. And, and, you know, there's players that get away with it, and then there's players that can do it. Right. Um, and for the most part, probably 99% of basketball players in the high school game don't have the speed or the athletic ability to, to actually do it. Right. They get lucky and once in a while poke one out. Dunn has the ability to do it. To do he's it. He's fast, and he's got great hand-eye coordination. Yes, he does. His skill, his skill level is way high. So Whiteshield going up for a great little offensive set or defensive set there and uh, and basically putting them out of the business of scoring points on this end. Dunn dribbling it up. Wilson, haven't heard from him today. Three minutes, seven seconds. Low scoring first quarter. Sure is. So far. So I don't think the Eagles defense. are hitting Coach Cole's mark here. <laughs> he they says a bucket a minute. A bucket a minute. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And so they'd need ten points if they were going to have a bucket a minute. Here. Right. Right. So I don't know whether that's uh, a little cool, you know, offensive action or whether we can credit Okarchi's defense for some of that. Right, right. I mean, it's a, that's a great conversation, you know. That's a great basketball conversation because what do you do? You, you, want, you know, you want to take good shots. You don't want to take bad shots. Right. Well, you definitely want to stay in your game. Exactly. And take the shots that you're looking for. There you go. It's that when you get – Hard up and you try try to manufacture things is when things go south. No oh, man, White Shield. Get that out of here. The White Shield knocking that one completely out of the park of here. Park. I'll replay that. Yeah. You'll see him just knock that look all out. the way over out of Just look at the hops. <laughs> <laughs> Kid's got hops. Yep. Link. Can seriously see him with a future in basketball. Done, almost had it. Stop, pop, he'll go in, he's off. Big guy, that's gonna go. Watonga. Phoenix White should take it out. O'Carty coming out in the press. Full court press. No trap white shirt. Eagles looking good on there it. There we go. Great eyes by Oh, and another Reyes. good pass. Good basketball play Very right nice. there. By Devin Wilson. We said we hadn't heard of him. He probably was feeling the same thing and got himself going. Nice move. Nice job. Good job, Devin Wilson there. Way to finish. Way to finish. He's a key factor. We forget about him sometimes. He's got game. Stop. It'll be a three-pointer. And that's going to...
I didn't see what happened, Steve. A little foul by Wilson down okay. here. Okay. So that's gonna they're gonna take him out. He's got two now when we're not done with the first quarter. He'll get to sit a little while. Gotcha. Gotcha. We'll definitely need him down a stretch. We definitely will. His ball handling capabilities yeah, exactly. alone. Yep. Not to mention his defense. Man, his defense. And then once in a while he gets hot and he plays a heck of a offense. There so you go. He's got skills. Got to have that guy. Cole White shirt committing a turnover right there. McCarthy's starting to pick it up a little bit. They are. So the press is working for him just a little bit. Done. We've got Trenton Cole in the game here. Done. One man fast break. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Kid, yeah. Dishes yeah. off yeah. right there. So to... much fun. Uh-oh, careful. He tripped over someone's foot. But he's back. He's up. The ball's moving pretty good for Okarchi right now. Deep shot. Little rim out. we got a rebound. Cole. <sighs> Sheesh. <laughs> Folks, we almost got ran into. <laughs> but you know what? That would have been bad because I don't think he even got past the cement right Yeah, I know. <laughs> My life flashed before my eyes, though, still. <laughs> Trenton Cole with the ball. Foul. Getting fouled. Good job. Go to the line. Give us a couple. Good job, Trenton. Coming off the bench. 58 seconds left here in the first quarter. Scores 10 to 8. Scoreboard's working for this game, Derek. Everything's working like it's supposed to. Okay. All right. All right. Cole will miss. Okarchi will grab the rebound. Bring it up. 10 8. Late. I mean, late first quarter. Even basketball game so far. Nice pass by uh, Okarchi right there underneath. Nice pass by Okarchi went 15. Great. High percentage shot. White shirt. Need him to come around. There it is. Took a look. Thought about it. Said no. Yeah, that's the shot we were looking yeah, for. That's the shot we're looking for. Done. He'll go. He'll go the line. And there it is again. Stopping the game. Things don't go your way. Go to the free throw line. You're that dynamic. You're that special. They have to fire you with all your athletic ability and skills. You know what I also like about stopping the game? It just gives a, a team who doesn't have a lot of depth rest. Yeah. You know. Sure uh, does. Uh, it, it sometimes gives them a chance to communicate a little bit when they don't normally yeah, get to. Exactly. Exactly. So we've got A.J. Mata coming in here for Trenton Cole. Wasn't that for Trenton Cole? No, he's going to come no, in, come in, in for White, White, White Shield. Shield. Yep. And good job by Coach getting him out. Going to get a second foul on him. And that's going to be... You know, that, that'll be the mission, you know, for uh, for us. Done knocking with down him. both of his. Good job. Just keeping him out of foul trouble. Yep. Gallagher. Instructing his team. Mata with some good hands there. Good job. Mata coming in the game. Ready. Disrupting that play. Just, exactly. what, just what we needed. Just what we needed. Stop. Pop. Reyes with the rebound. There we go. I think he was trying to lead Mata for a little fast break action there. Mata didn't realize what he was doing, and the ball got all the way down to the end. Yep. So that will end the first quarter, 12-10. to 10. Eagles with the lead. And we'll move into the second. Yep, we'll move into the second quarter, Steve. Uh, even game, we saw some some, some flashes of DeAndre Dunn and what he can do with the basketball as far as driving. Um, did we, statistician again, do we have any three-pointers that quarter? Well, we will. We yeah. will. I yeah. mean, we've seen it. Right. We've seen uh, Dunn, you know, come like a, a hailstorm, like a thunderstorm of threes All of a raining sudden, huh? in, yeah. in the gym. All of a sudden, and then putting you out the game. And that was really the story at the championship game in the Minko tournament last week. Uh, you know, it was a whole team effort, and the Eagles scored well across the team. Right. But it was done with the exclamation point on everything. Okay. Um, 
just a dagger to the heart. Every time Minko tried to wiggle again, he would go down and, and, and hit him with a deep three well, from NBA range, from Steph Curry range. Steph Curry range. I mean, every time. <laughs> it was uh, it was special. Yeah. Might need some of that specialness tonight. And like Post I said, not to, not to take anything away from any of the other players, it was an awesome game by the whole darn team. Right, right. Dunn was accentuating it, you know, in a special way. We'll see what he does tonight. First quarter. Again, low score in first quarter. I think the goal is 25 points, so there's a lot of defense being played right now. Yep. Reyes. Over to Cole. Mata. Mata. Gets it picked. 15. Good job, Trenton Cole, getting back. Trying yeah. to take a charge. Yeah, he did. Did he get it? Oh, they're going to call, gonna call a block. block. I don't know about that. Yeah. I thought he did a great job getting back and getting in front of him. We'll see. And Coach Gallagher going to have a conversation over there with the Right, ref. right, because that was something that, you know, you got to explain to me. Kid gets back, gets his feet set. He'll hit the first one. So, uh, many times, Derek, I'm glad I'm not a coach. Talk to me. Uh, well... So in those situations where, you know, Coach Gallagher was in a position to see that play w far better than the ref who was running down the court, catching uh -oh. up to uh -oh. the Oh, you don't want to there do it this time. He's <laughs> Thought he might be going to. Just getting ready. <laughs> but I'd have a hard time, I think, being as civil as Coach Gallagher seemed to be right, in that conversation. Right, right, Steve-O, right. It's like I tell, I tell people about teachers. Coaching is pretty much the same way. A good coach, like a great teacher, you gotta be special. A special person to be a teacher. Thank all you teachers out there. Yep, oh indeed. For what you do for our children, and our community. We appreciate you. Mata. No got good numbers. look for Mata. Got numbers there. here. Oh, on it. Okay. So, white shirt zigged and. Well, it was Cole expected him to zag. Yep, exactly. And those are moments, you know, you, they're they're going to learn. Uh, they're young enough to learn too. That's going to be an alley oop. Yep. You know what I mean, Steve? Well, that's where. Yeah, that's probably what it needed to be. And yeah. If it had been done doing that, I think you know, with the ball, I think it probably would have been. Exactly. Will Cole get there? Yep. <laughs> Student body. Giving it to the, the proper Warriors. Serenade oh, here. nice try! You can steal a nice hustle right there by Trenton Cole. So it'll be a jump ball. I'm I'm unsure how that wasn't a foul on someone right there, Derek. Yeah, I know. Um, we had Okarchi hitting the floor, Cole getting in on the ball, rolling over the top of somebody. I mean, somebody fouled somebody there, somebody right? Somebody fouled somebody, didn't they? Yeah. 14, 12, six minutes. Dunn getting his hand on that. Man to man, baby. Man to man. Drive. It'll come off. Get the offensive rebound. It'll be foul. Cole looks like. So that number 33 from Okarchi over there, uh, he gives a, a head fake every time. Mm -hmm. And it's almost recognizable. It's almost to a fault. You can, you can almost... You know, know that's coming. Right. And just not bother paying attention to it. Right. And you got to just, you know, get your, you know, you think you know it, but when you're out there, and, and I know. It, it's hard to stay down. It is. <laughs> it's hard to stay down. But I right, eventually, I think Wyshia will, some part of this game, maybe even now, stop jumping. Reyes. Players Done that think the their way through a game will recognize stuff like that and start to not honor it. Exactly. White shirt trapped. He'll lose it. Okarchi on the run. Throws it up. Finishes. Okarchi takes the lead. Back and forth here. White, White shield. shield. Nice. That's the way you break yep. a press, friends. Yep. That's, that's how it. it's done. And we've been there for him most of this half. Good job of breaking the press. Karchi to move the ball around. White shirt. Mata. Don't do it. Don't do it. Takes a shot. Right, 
Good rebound. Yep, good rebound, Mata. Mata. Done. Reyes. This should be. Ooh, almost. He tried it. He tried it. That's going to be way too far. No turn it back, back over and give it back to us. 16 15, 5 minutes, 19 seconds left to go. In Watonga, America. Watching our hometown boys after winning the Minko tournament. Again, after exceeding a lot of expectations. In the Mata. Hope. And good rebound right there by Phoenix White Shirt. So we're, this is showing through just a little bit. We're missing Devin Wilson calm and cool with the ball under pressure. Yeah. And that's going to be a charge on DeAndre Dunn. And again, we've got to stop and pop right there. It's hard to, easy to say, hard to do. Now what we don't want to do is get him into more foul trouble. Right. So it looks like he goes switches to his own. Nice job by Coach Gallagher. Real quickly understanding. Excuse me, back to men to men. Mata. <laughs> Done. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a charge. Yeah, that's an illegal screen. Illegal screen. Yep. Dunn holding his hands behind yeah. his back right there. This is a little bit of protest against what happened on the other end a little bit ago, I think. <laughs> I don't blame him for that either. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Go ahead and let the sub come in. You just, you just mentioned it. So Wilson coming in for Mata there. Yep. Get it out of the corner. They get it. We turn it over. They finish. Got to move the ball quickly. Come help White shirt's got to get open here. Got to get out. Another turnover. That's be a, is that going to be a foul? Yep. That'll be a foul on Okarski. And they're still not in the bonus, so it's just going to be throw the ball in again. 421 left here yeah. in the second quarter, 17-16. You know, Okarski's length on this press is not bad, you know. Right. They're, they're doing not, a good yeah, job running they're, this they're press. Giving us, they're giving us problems here. Um, Devin Wilson breaks it by himself this time. Stop. Goes up. <coughs> oh, I've got the score backwards here. And are we in the bonus? I didn't see the foul. I didn't either. Yeah, no, we're not in the bonus yet. White shirt, white shirt. But Mata. they are. In fact, they're in the double bonus. Double bonus. We'll knock it down. Take advantage of it. The 20. Good rebound right there. Yep. White shell. Get it out. There we go. Fine done. Good job, Nick Mata. Way to go to go finish. To Mata. The hey, Mata, everybody. The finish bringing some punch off the bench. Carson comes right back with a fast break. <laughs> Flying around here, Steve. Done pushing fast court action. The second quarter stop. Pop. He has a little rim off. Carson will have the ball yep. here. So the press is really generating for them right now. Mm -hmm. It really is. And I'm looking at both of these teams. Nobody really huffing and puffing. Two very physically. And the ball will stay. They're definitely letting a lot more physicality, yes. you know, in this game. Yes, they are. In both games to me, really, tonight, this crew, when we come off the res, we turn the ball right back over. Okarchi up 20. Up 20 to 18. Excuse me. We'll stop. Pop. We'll make it. You we'll call that a deuce, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Got to come help him. Yep. We're going to turn it over again. Presses. Give it a spin. You're going to have to call a timeout, Coach Gallagher. Got it. Now, Karchi travels well tonight. 
Looking to go 2-0 and against our Tonga Eagles. Both teams down early. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, so that press is, uh, you know, the cool and the calm that the girls had when they were breaking that press. The boys are just having a hard time with it here because they've, you know, they're facing a full court deny style press. Right. Right. It leaves the backside open. So if you can get the ball the full length of the court, yep. you typically have numbers on the defense. Going on the back end. The yep. trouble is they're so overstacking, you know, the front side up here that they're not we're not able to really get the ball inbounds efficiently right, right now. Right, right. We're having trouble with it. Um, and you know it's just the kid like DeAndre has handles. He like you've seen him, we've seen him. He can break the press by himself, but energy-wise, he needs help. Right, he does. He can't. There's, you know, he is human, <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. Like the rest of us, right? And so, you know, there is a there's a point where he wears out. You have to pass the ball if you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna pass the ball out of yep. this press. You're not gonna dribble it out of this yep. press. I think. Real talk, Steve. Hey, Steve. We've seen two teams, two games tonight where the, that old phrase, "the ball moves faster than the man." Yep. It's classic. Indeed. Done. Told you. By himself. Got white shirt. Looks for Mata. Finish that. Good job, And he Mata. does. Nick Mata. Finishing man, I, around the room. AJ rim. Mata. I just love watching him finish at the rim. Why do I call him in? AJ Mata. Sorry, Nick. <coughs> Nick. What's a... Once we can plug it, dude. No worries, Derek, but I am going to have to stand up for a minute because I see that our tripod for our camera is just about to slip off the stage. All right, we'll let you go. <laughs> I'll stay with you here. Good basketball game here tonight. Four-point lead. Red. One up strong. Okay, while I was saving the life of our camera, what I missed, Derek? Uh, great defense by Reyes. He's got the turnover. Gets it out to Cole. Done. By himself. Count that. Count that. Eagle. Timeout by Coach Gallagher. Timeout by Coach Gallagher. He's woken these guys up. Yep. Not sure what he said over there in that Me little neither. huddle, but uh, things have changed. We'd love to be a fly on the wall in that huddle. Ah! Good move. The foul right here on number 15. So they called a technical foul on number 15 well, on Carchi's yeah, side. I'm looking at it now, Steve. Him and Dunn are going back and forth. Uh, started earlier. Well, so that's, you know, if you're done, that's exactly what you where you want to be. You're inside his head now. Thank you. You're yep. in that space between his ears. Yep. And so you just keep needling. Needling, needling, leaning. Exactly. I don't know whether it's bumping him or whether it's talking to him, but whatever it is, you know, if it's legal, <laughs> you just keep doing it. It's legal if they don't call it. Um, Dunn misses them both. Misses both technical fouls right here. Surprising. <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of surprising. He doesn't usually uh, miss very many free throws. Trenton, Reyes, this will help. That's where we're at, right there. So that is the Austin Reyes that we've seen exactly. so many times. White Shield, stay down. But he comes back up. <laughs> Eagle on the run. White Shield, stop. Finish. Finishing. And the lead. McCarthy needs a timeout. We'll call a timeout. The Watanga Eagle coming back. Coach Gallagher, we don't know him. We're getting to know him now. Yes, we are. Great job. Calling the timeout. This game has turned around. This whole arena has turned around. So yeah. we've, we've talked to Coach Gallagher, Derek, and uh, and we know that he likes to run. Right. right? He wants right. to run the ball. He right. wants to billy ball. He right. wants to score a lot of points. He's got a crew that can do that. Yes. They can score the points. Yep. They can run the ball. Thank you. So the game is kind of, when the game slows down on the, on, um, our offensive end, right. our offensive right. set on their defensive set is where we're not scoring a lot of points. Right. 
they sped the game up themselves right. with their press. And so the Eagles are just now figuring that out, you know, figuring out how to break it and responding. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, two coaches going back and forth, you yep. know, two good coaches going back and forth. Gonna, like we said about Coach Campbell, there's going to be some adjustments, you yep. know. Who can adjust the right way? <clears throat> so the, uh, the students are moving down to the center. They're moving out of the student section here. I'm not sure what they're up to. I have no idea. <laughs> so that's Eagle basketball. That's a turnover. That's a walk. Yeah. Travel. Carsey. Looking around, confused right now. And I'm curious to know why they did move to <laughs> Steve. I'm getting a little nervous. Yeah, I don't know, I know what's know. coming our way. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> Cole. Good defense right there by Cole. Way to get back. Trenton Cole. Good athlete. So I'm in football. I love guys that can play football and basketball. Yep. Yeah, Trenton Cole's a good, solid kid. You know, yep. he's uh, he doesn't have as as basketball-y of a look as say a White Shield does. Right. But he's a solid player. Right. He doesn't he doesn't have the look, but yeah, he's a good basketball. Player. Oh, that's gonna be undone. That's gonna be undone. Gotta keep your composure. Is that, going to be, is that going to be two on him, Steve? No, I think it's going to be three. Is that three? Yep. Yep, I think you're right. It's going to be his third foul. Now, we got to be careful. Coach Gallagher is waving the hands at him. <laughs> Don't foul anybody else. And we're actually going to leave him in the game. This is interesting right here, Steve. What do you do? Coast ball game. Superstar. Well, we need his ball handling skill on the floor. If they're going to continue to press, we need done in the game. You know, the question is, how long do you leave him? We've got we've got Wilson sitting over there with two fouls. Right. I'm not sure you don't bring him back in here. I know it. I know it. I know it, Steve. You know. That's why coach, is, that's why coach Gallagher is sitting over there. But listen, if I'm Okarchi, like right there, it's going to take a game. Nice shot right there, young so, man. So I know he did that as an adjustment from what right. he normally does because exactly. of those three fouls. Thank you. But I like I like the play. Right. Thank you. Thank Stop you. and pop, yep. and don't just you know fly on in there. Because you cannot afford to do it now. Right. You know, you cannot afford to do it now. AJ Mata, that'll be with Tonga Ball. Winding down here. Second quarter, competitive game. Cole over to Mata. Reyes, three-pointer. Here we go. Here we go. And this is a nice sight to see. Him in rhythm. Him getting open and knocking down threes. And that's going to be another travel. Another travel. And Steve, it's, like, it's just like when you're on the road and the crowd is packed and you hit a three. It's just so funny to me about basketball how, you know, <laughs> you start to think once that crowd starts going. You betcha. If you're the opposing team. I don't know what's going on with uh -oh. the scoreboard. Nope. Right, so. The scoreboard here in the building is is not keeping up with the game properly, I'm afraid, here. Okay. Under 10 seconds. DeAndre Dunn, get away. Get away. That's it. That's going to be your first half. Steve and I don't get a correct right, score. So here. The, <laughs> yeah, the, the score on the scoreboard here says 32-27. But um, I'm not sure that's right. So, or maybe it's me that's wrong, and uh, it is right. So it's 32-27. Yep, that's what it is. It's okay. right. Okay. Okay. 30. I just had him backwards. Right. 32-27, Steve. Um, DeAndre Dunn starting to heat up a little bit. Yes. Uh, 
So I think one of the things we saw was the Eagles calm down against the press a little yeah. bit, and they started moving the ball up the court against Okarchi's full court press. Yeah. That's what we needed to see. Right, right. And that's what sparked, you know, this little points run and why the Eagles are ahead here at halftime. Right, right. And, you know, going back to the little things, just as like I, we said earlier, you know, Coach Gallagher calling that timeout, you know, and whatever they said over there, you know, it just changed everything. But now we got to think we got to think about the second half. We're going to think about continuing to put W's up. And so how do we stay out of foul trouble? Yeah, so how do we stay out of foul trouble? So, you know, it's kind of a weird game. They've let it play from a, a physicality perspective some. And then in other times, you know, when Dunn gets a hand in there or something like that last foul he got, it didn't seem like there was much contact at all. Right. So right. that's the thing that frustrates me in basketball games is just when they're not called really consistently. Exactly. Some of that is which ref called the foul. Right. There's three of them here in the building tonight, and they're not all the same person. Right. They're different people. Right. Um, but you'd like to see – Basically, consistency across the board on any given night. That way, you know what to expect when you're on the yeah, court. Exactly, exactly. Very well put, Steve. Very, very well put. Hey, but you know, like I said, you know, if you'd have told me before the game that we're going to be up this at half, I'll take it. We'll yeah, start with the team I would we too. got, with the team we got, and get ready for the second half. Yep, folks, we're going to take a little break. We'll let our voices rest a minute. Maybe get a drink of water, and we'll come back, come back at you about a minute to go in the. Halftime period. Get ready for the third quarter. Watonga Eagles TV, folks. Oh yeah, baby.
Well, Derek, it seems like half times get shorter and shorter the older I get. <laughs> All I wanted was a little bit of nachos and uh, a bottle of water and time to eat them, and it wasn't time. Yeah, I know. You know what? Uh, I'm glad it's you, not me, this time. <laughs> right? Right? I do that. I do that to you every party, every game, partner. <laughs> Um, back at you, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to let Steve get his stuff together and uh, talk to you a little bit about what our Eagles are at 32-27. Uh, again, foul trouble is the key word that comes out. Sure is. With uh, Dunn having three, Wilson with two, you know, this is a, you know, six or seven man team, really. Yep. And so you can't really afford... A lot of foul trouble when you, you don't have better depth than that. You can't. So it's important. This will be the focus. But then you don't want to get too, you know, you don't want to lose your aggressiveness. And you don't want to, you know, you want to put your foot on your throat right now. A couple raised threes would do it. Triple team. He'll lose it. Okarchi. See what they're. Be a foul. And that's Real quickly, Wilson picking up his third it. right there. Real be careful. Quickly, and that's going to bring Mata right back on the yeah. floor. And we just said it. And that's what happens when you penetrate and drive, though, Steve. You get your 50-50 yep. chance to get fouled. The good news is Mata is yep. bringing some really good performance to the, to the uh, court tonight. Yep. Oh, another foul. Wow, White they're going to call that. A, wow, they are really on about uh, the – Hands, you know. Somebody came and went in at halftime and got a little. <laughs> Start putting the whistles up. Yeah. Yep. McCarthy moving it. Kind of feels like the first half. Big guy. Down low. Good. Hypers in the shot. Paul Carson. Right shirt. He's got numbers if he wants it. Done. Step back. Way back. Woo! In and out. Karchi. Left one fly from three. It'll rim off. Watonga ball. Ray has a limb bounds here. Yep. Done. Dunn will bring the ball up himself. Yep. And good foul. There we go. <laughs> good job, Andre Dunn. Yeah. Nice job, Andre Dunn. Let's start to uh, rack him up and get to the free throw line. Now, we can we can, we can stretch the lead right here. Uh, yeah, that would be huge. That would be huge for us because I haven't really seen them really do anything from three-point range. Now, they were, they're very hustling and aggressive. And they anticipated to make a steal right there. Now, what I don't want to see is the Eagles lose their lead here. Right. Oh, and they just throw one yeah, away. Yeah, and they throw one away. A little frustration setting in. Exactly. Karchi gets some positive things that happen. Catches a break. Here it is again. Dribble drive. He's going to get fouled again. This time it's white shirt. But the strategy is just to dribble, drive, and try to take it, you know, right now with this, with the refs that we got right now. It's not a good strategy. They're, not saying that they're bad refs, but they will call it. Reyes getting the paw out and poking that one out of bounds. Exactly. Long three. It'll rim off. Number 45. He's been dominating inside. Another offensive rebound. We've got a rebound. I will come back to Hannes. Got to block out. Turning it over again. Goes up. Nope. Another offensive, re another offensive rebound. Come on, guys. Got to get those rebounds. Got to get those rebounds. Karchi creeping back. Done. Just forget it. I'm taking it myself. A heel miss. A rare miss. McCarthy picking up the tempo, picking up the pace, picking up the energy. 
Oh, DeAndre Dunn. You cannot do that. And that's... That's four on him. Yep. And see, that is... To me, that's not a foul. I mean, I thought he got the ball. But if, when you're in jeopardy like that, everybody's right. for your team. <laughs> this makes you move. It feels like that to me. Well, and I'm not sure that you can predict how it's going to get called tonight because the first half was pretty rough. Yeah. We had that one deal where Trenton Cole was on the floor with another player, and, and Trenton rolled right over the top of the guy, and they didn't. Yep. They never called it. Never called him. Coach Scholar looks like he'll come back with Wilson. We're done. Reyes. He'll be key here if Dunn goes to the bench. Dunn. Double team. Turns it over. Down low. Here comes yeah, so they're just killing us down low. Yeah. Right underneath the basket. Yeah. Nah. Carsey up four. Nice run. Nice little run. Right again. They're going a nice little run. We've got to calm down, get our composure. We'll be fine. We're just coming back right now. Not like they're killing us from three point range or just dominating us inside. Yeah, they're just, just punching hustling. the ball down yeah. there on the baseline and yeah. shooting layups. Hustle, and we turn the ball over. Yep. Eagles just not looking as sharp here in the third quarter, and Dunn is going to have to sit for a while. I think and he's that, got four fouls. Yeah. Probably won't see him again until the fourth quarter. Yeah. No doubt the fourth quarter, and then how aggressive and will he be even then, Steve? You know right. I mean? uh, so he'll sit, sit here, and now somebody else has got to step up. I mean, let's just, you know, I yep. know the air is kind of out the building here a little bit, but hey, now it's time for somebody else to step up and rise up and become, you know, uh, a person that you know Coach Gallagher can go to in these situations. Well, that's what's going to have to happen. We're going to have to have a player that you know isn't normally in that limelight that Dunn draws and stand right up in it. Normally I would say it's Wilson, but he, his aggressiveness because of foul trouble, I think it will be a little bit off. So I think it's got to be White Shield and Reyes. Here it is. Good call. Oh, you got to take that up. Yeah, that's up. There we go. White Shield just not able to connect there until he had somebody in his face. That's what it was. It's too easy for him. Yeah, Turn it's it too over. easy. He'll turn it over. Tonga ball, down to five minutes, third period. Start DeAndre Dunn on the bench, foul trouble. Wilson, ah, block. There he is. And he gets fouled. So, yep. great play by Wilson there. Yep. I really love Mata's cool with the basketball when he's being, you know, in the full court press, press down there. Right. Doing a really great job coming in off the bench and uh, and doing what Watonga needs him to do, which is, you know, protect the basketball, make great passes. Yep. Good job, Wilson, knocking down the first year, too. Exactly. So these two guys playing great basketball here for us tonight. They are. They are. <coughs> Wilson is... Try to knock down a second. He does. And he does. That ties Steps the game up. up at 36. Get a tie ball game. Could be a barn burner going down the stretch here. This one has all the makings. The fourth quarter. Eagle Nation basketball victory. The defense right there by Cole. Good individual defense right there by Trenton Cole. Rebound. Good defense right there. Matonga Eagles. Oh, and we turn it right back over. Wilson. That's going to be a travel. Oh, travel. oh my. I, I, just, yeah. I thought that was going to be a charge that he took, know, and then it turns know, out it's a travel. I know. I, know, I, know I guess it. I didn't see the travel. I know Coach Gallagher is like, get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> get out of the way, bud. I need you in this game. <laughs> Uh, Cole losing a handle on it there. Turning it over. No true ball handler in the game for us right now. Right. Wilson is is a great ball handler. He's not as good as Dunn, but he's also but he's he's still really 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 yep. good. He's so. really good ball handler. He's a better two to me. Good rebound, Devin Wilson. We lose it. Can't foul. And they're going to call a charge right. there. Trenton Cole. 
stepping in there, coming off the bench, playing defense. Got a, that's the heart right there. A kid that's willing to just step in there and yes. take the charge, and, yes. and he's thinking that. That's smart. That's yep. heart. And he can play for me. That's right. They'll turn it over now. Back to back. Both teams turning it back over. Turn it over back and forth. There's a three for Okarchi. 12, he knocks it down. Cole trying to fill the panel. That's going to be a travel. Yeah. 31. Three minutes, 33 seconds. Okarchi up three. I think the Eagles got a piece of that. They did. Wilson. McCarthy. Scrapping. Even hard time. Wilson, great pass right there, and that's going to be a block. And So Wilson will shoot two. Yep. Although yep. he was not shooting, he yep. was passing. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to realize why So they're going to have a, a ball out down here, aren't they? It's okay. not going to be a shooting foul. Yeah. Well, we got one referee saying shoot two, and one referee's taking the ball out. Which one? Is it Laren or is it Devin? It's Wilson. Okay. Laren wasn't fouled. They blew the whistle before he was able to get to the bucket. Right. Wilson needs these. Steps up, knocks him down. Knocks down the first one. Little rip off for the second. Nice job, Mata. Yeah, they'll call him for over the oh, back. Oh, they're gonna call him. They called him for over the back. Yeah. He was underneath the guy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Questionable. <laughs> Questionable. Yeah. Well, I'm not one to question the refs calls too much. I yeah, just saw right. it right here in front of me, and it looked yeah. to me like he was uh, he was underneath the guy. Say it again. You saw it right here in front of you. Yep. <laughs> right here in front of me. Oh my man, Stevo. Love these fight nights with you, partner. I've proven tonight that I wouldn't be a good coach nor ref, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just an old has-been sitting on the sideline. <laughs> yeah, looks like me. Done back in the game. Just wait like oh, that. white shirt with an yep. excellent steal there. Need to go. Got to look up. Throw it off There him. you go. Come help. Stop right there. There you go, son. There you go, son. There's going to be a foul on, on, on So Laird. does that negate the bus bucket? No, the bucket counts. Bucket sh it should count. The, the bucket should count. So that was away from the ball foul, and they counted the bucket. Yep. On White Shield. On White Shield. So where does that put him? So with two, it looks like? Yep. Three. That's three for him. That's what the scoreboard says, three. I'll call on number two, but... Dumb back in the game. Play good defense. Got to be careful. No. Goes out of bounds. Tie ball game here. Two minutes, 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Lots of drama going on right now. Steve, you know what I wouldn't mind? What's that? A money ball on the offensive side. Yep. And it's going to be a push on Okarchi. For the most part, this Okarchi team, I tell you what, scrappy, hanging in there. Don't have a lot of high flyers or even great outside shooting. Just gritty, tough. Yeah, just solid basketball yep, team. Right solid there. basketball. And that's typical of Okarchi basketball. Yep. You know, well Wilson. coached and Deep. a hustle team. Three. Hey, what did I say? I need the money ball. You said it. Did we say you we need that money ball? You called it. Good defense right there. Laren, be careful, DeAndre. Again, beautiful, son. There yeah, you he's go. Got a great stroke, he? Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. There you go. Nice soft touch with a high arch. But the ability to stop and understand how many fouls you got and stuff yep. like that. 
everybody just can't do that. That's more impressive to me about him than a lot of other stuff. I wouldn't wish being in foul trouble on right, anybody, right. but I sure like his play while he's in foul trouble. Exactly, exactly. Understanding the magnitude on the moment and how much he, his team needs him. White shirt. Here we go. Boom, that's white Here shirt. we go. Here we go. I was starting to fall. Tell you what. These youngsters right here, whether it's football or basketball, all year long, Steve. <laughs> I waited to the last minute to kind of turn things on. That's going to be yep. another turnover. Turn up the pressure here. Your Eagles, War Eagles, trying to finish the third quarter strong. So we've got 59 seconds left here in the third, folks. 47-39, the Eagles on top by eight. Just playing heck, heck, great basketball great right basketball now. Great basketball right now. That'll be, That'll be Watonga That'll Ball. Coach Gallagher at that, he's coaching up Trenton Cole saying uh, move to the ball. So right. Move to the ball. Right. Somebody throws the ball to you, you take three steps towards it. Exactly. We're on a nice little run here. Stretch the lead. Let's go ahead and go for the knockout. Reyes. Wilson in the corner. White shirt just hit a three. Reyes. Deep three. It'll come off. Cole. Good offensive again. rebound Another by Cole. Rebound. Tell you what, number five, Trenton, Trenton Cole. <laughs> And look at him getting back. Good block. Oh, they're going to call White Shirt on that. That was just good defense. But going back to Cole, just, oh. you know, we just described these Okarchi team. Now, now, he's on our side doing the same yep, thing. Yep, he is. He's a hustle, hustle player. Love to watch him in the game. Yep, me too. It'll come off. 31 seconds. Third quarter. The Watonga Eagles. 47. Cole's got a lot to live up to. We got to watch his older brother play a lot last year, Brennan, and uh, he was a great basketball player sure for the Eagles was. here. Sure was. Point guard, huh? Yep. 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 Knocks the second one down. Seven-point game. Got to be careful. DeAndre Dunn on the bench. Foul trouble. Cole. Now Wilson. Wilson. Depending on which way they call it. That's going to be, be Watonga ball. ball. We'll keep it here. Crucial time of the game right now. In the third quarter. You want to keep DeAndre on the, on the bench, in my opinion. Unless a run happens. Until about halfway through the fourth. Cole, who started the year at point guard. Eagles moving the ball around nicely. Looking for a good shot. Good call by Coach Gallagher. Wilson, you got to get it up. 1.1 second left. And I think that was a, you know, a good call by Coach Gallagher to pull it out. You got to. Will they go? Oh, oh, no. Off left. Off left. All right, so that'll end our third quarter, Derek. 47 to 40. Eagles lead by seven here. We're going into the fourth. Hey, let me ask you a question, Steve. Let's hear it. If he would have made that and had to verify, would they would have came over here and asked us? We could have helped him. Oh, we, <laughs> <laughs> we really could, huh, Steve? Oh, my. Well, yeah. Of course, hey. of course if, uh, if there's any question, if it had gone in and there's a whole lot of question about right. it, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure the work replay was working on that day. Oh, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> well, yeah. We would have been no good. We would have been no good. But, hey, good job of the uh, of DeAndre Dunn oh, yeah, in yeah. the third quarter, staying out of foul trouble and making plays. Well, and, you know, just taking the headiness of everybody together. Yep. We saw A.J. Mata bringing the ball in, yep. bringing the ball up, you know, with full court pressure and able to just handle the ball, yep. pass it off where it needed to be. We saw Trenton Cole taking passes and not panicking with the ball in that middle of that press. Getting it to the guys that needed to get, you know, yep. needed to get to. Yep. We saw Wilson knocking down threes. Um, great effort by everybody, but yeah, DeAndre Dunn, you know, doing his little dribble stop short and popping. Yeah, big. Yeah, big. And and, and like I said, that's just easy to say, and that's hard to do, you know, especially when you're used to going and trying yeah. to finish, you know. But it's just, you know, you want to your the percentage of that, the percentage of that shot. Going in versus foul trouble, 
got to at least attempt to. Well, and uh, with his shooting ability, you know, with his stroke, I think you want him shooting that short shot. You don't want him trying to get the 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 you yeah, know, the, the, the easy layup because there's too much chance he's going to get a foul there. Exactly. Now. If there's any chance there could be a charge, just stop, pull up. Okarchi down seven. See what they come out with fourth quarter. Gritty team, gritty tough team. Work hard. Shot way off. Nice way to push, yep. way to push. Good yep. job, Devin Wilson. Wilson. And that's going to be a turnover. Looked like a foul to me. A uh -oh, little year step. Yeah. Oh, Carchi. We're able to get that to roll in. Yeah. Hey, again, they haven't played well. They haven't played bad. This team here. Tough, gritty. True Oklahoma team. Money ball. Yeah. DeAndre well, Dunn. That's what... Dunn brought to the game at Minko. Well, uh, he's doing it again here tonight. Stay on the court, son. We got this. Don't go for that. Good decision. The man is making great decisions. Let me try it. He got it. Leonard White Shield bringing his crowd to his feet with the flush. Give me some of that, Laren. <laughs> Eagle up right. by 10. Let's see if we caught that, Derek. Let's see. There's White Shield yeah. going up for his dunk. Yeah. Computer catches up here. Yeah, and boom, there it is. brings it down, baby. Brings Good job, Laren. Way yep. to get the student body energized. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Get this whole place energized. Laren White Shield. And it looked like he was, th was thinking, am I going to lay it up or am I, or am I going like to? he might be going to lay it in. Because <laughs> last couple of times he laid it in down here. <laughs> when I thought he was going to flush it. Good job. Anytime you can dunk a basketball, I'll tell you what. I envy you. <laughs> Mata. Over to Dunn. Dunn. Heating up. <laughs> Off. White shield. It's gonna go over uh, they're going to call that on White Shield. So and that's going to be... That's questionable. Yep. And that's three uh, on him. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was three earlier on him. I'm sorry. It's that. That's going to make three on you. Rebound. Done. Fighting for it. Great ball handling. Great hands. Wilson. Reyes. Eagles doing a good job breaking the press. Well, they're being patient, and they're taking what Okarchi gives them, yep. which is an open lane here and there. Reyes, no. Wilson, there it is. Come on. God, he's got a pretty, <laughs> pretty stroke. Five minutes, 57 seconds. Eagles up 10. Stretching it. Three-point shooting. Team basketball on point. Carsey tries the answer. Done. You got Mata to the left. To the right, sorry. Spin move. No. Number 33 tries to take the charge. Yeah, I think the, I, I kind of felt like the, you know, Dunn was concerned about the contact there, and that probably distracted him from hitting that shot. Oh, of course. Of course it did. Of course it did. But you know, I'm glad that ref didn't call him. <laughs> well, that's well. what I figure he was thinking is uh, he was, you know, very self-conscious about the potential call there. Cross-court pass. Reyes. Mata. Done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Archie's got to have a timeout. Exactly. Timeout. Tommy Eagles on a run, on a mission. Coach Gallagher does it again. Calls a timeout. Again, don't know what he said, but it works. Eagles yep. up 13. I so, go ahead. you have a very good point there, Derek. You remembered back to when Coach Gallagher called that timeout. Eagles came out of that huddle with a different attitude toward the game or at least a different, you know, hustle and performance toward the game. Don't know what he said. Sure would like to, to know what it was. You know, there's a few times in life that I could use a speech like no that. No kidding. They just <laughs> turn everything around, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Take a bad day and turn it into a gold exactly, day. Exactly, exactly. Turn everything around. So 
Yeah, but you know, with the many years' experience he's having, many, you know, I've, we've visited with him and been to the state title game, I think four or five times. I don't know the correct on that, but you know, many times like that, you, we didn't go get you for no reason. McCarthy, got to start putting up some threes. Well, they put up quite a few this. Oh, yeah, oh get down out of here. here. Great job, Larry Weishill. Under control, Wilson. There we go. Whoa, look at this combination out here. Three-point shooter. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Reyes with a great save there. No look. Knock that down, Wilson. He's going to be off. They and they're going to call that on Laren Whitefield. That'll be four. Got to keep it cool. That'll bring him to the number four foul yeah. club. Yeah. You got to go back with white shirt. Or no, you go. Here back. comes Chase, <laughs> Chase Dryden, the big man. There you go. I was hoping we'd see him tonight. Me too. He always doesn't seem brown either. No, we haven't seen brown. Um in a highly test contested game like this, if he's on limited minutes, yep. you know, just coming off injury reserve, it yep. yep. uh, might be best to let him rest a little. Especially if you got the game under control. Last thing you want is to re-injure that. Right, right. And he's been injured since the very first game, so Coach yep. Gallagher hasn't actually seen him on the court, so. Yeah. Bit of an unknown for a new coach. Exactly, exactly. Eagles been able to break the press pretty much. Oh, Mata with a great this. look, great look. Second half in the first. Done again. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now, ladies and gentlemen. Are you kidding me? Are you uh, kidding me right now? The thunderstorm, the hailstorm is in full, full stream here. Dryden, good defense. Dunn will grab it. Complete control. Shooting lights out in the fourth quarter when he needs it the most. That'll Woo. be out of bounds. And very well on the offensive end. Shot selection. Love it. Release. Love it. Score. Love it. <laughs> Score. Love it. <laughs> Carchi, good steal right there. Good job, AJ, AJ Mata. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. They finish it off. With it. Uh, he's coming on. Taking over. Carchi, gonna have to. Call a timeout. DeAndre Dunn, join us. Hey, maybe it's just not football. Right? Maybe so I can't play on the next level in basketball. That's right, young man. We also saw Dryden there come in for a white shield and produce. He got the block. He got the steal down low there. Got the ball poked out. Dunn ultimately got the points. Dryden playing excellent defense down there. He does. Excellent, excellent defense down there. Dryden playing excellent defense down there. And, and this crowd is on its feet now. Our student section is on its feet. Yes, they are. What. Making noise. Yeah. And this is worth the price of admission right here. Now, if you're a Karchi here, it's late. You haven't really been knocking down a lot of threes. I mean, I'm, I could probably count. Right. They So they've had a lot of trouble from the three-point line here in the second half. They've not hit very well at all. Right, right. And, uh, you know, that's just not going to – I'm afraid it's not going to save them. They're going to have to go probably – they need the threes, right. like you're saying. But I, right. think, I think if they're going to have any chance, they've got to get back to their inside game that they're used to. Exactly. I agree with you too, Steve. I agree. We'll see here now. Coming on timeout, three minutes, 53 seconds. This has been fun seeing our Eagles grow up. This 2021 men's basketball team, they won the tournament. Everybody was listening, heard about them. They didn't let us down here tonight. Three-pointer, like we said, that's going to come off. That's going to be out of bounds, and that should. Is that going to stay with Okarchi? Yep, looks like it is. <laughs> and they'll go right in. Good, you know, good foul, Dryden. Yep. Coach Gallagher's not going to complain about, about that no, foul at all. I, I guarantee you he won't. 
I guarantee you, I guarantee he's feeling so much better this second half than he did the first half. Wow. He didn't even draw iron. That's not like an Okarchi basketball <laughs> player at all. Yeah. He started shooting free throws at two, don't they? Yeah. We're going to miss them both. Good hustle right there by Reyes. That's going to be a jump ball, possession arrow, Watanga. Now we need to finish this up, boys. Wilson comes over here in the corner. Back to Dunn. He's been hot. It's quarter. McCarthy trying anything. Desperate right now. Down 18. It just seemed like two minutes ago they were leading. Wilson in the corner. Over to Dunn. Reyes. Reyes! And that is Austin Reyes. Austin Reyes, they're flying here. <laughs> We're at home. The rims love us. And we got some special young men playing the sport they love. Nice shot right there. Well, Kachi, number 45. He's been one of the more active players for them, if I could say anyone standing out. But they're all good, hard, working, tough, gritty young men. So that's going to take the ball back the other way for Okarchi. And I missed the call. What was the call? Uh, tie ball. Tie ball. And they have a prep possession arrow back to Okarchi. They got Wilson trapped back against the half line. Couldn't get back and uh, basically, you know, tied him up. Gotcha. Moving the ball around real good. Oh, though. there we go. Austin awesome Reyes. Awesome Reyes. Great steal. Yeah, done. Wow. That's going to be sending him to the free throw line. Going to send him to the free throw line, Derek, and he'll have an opportunity to uh, push the Eagles across Coach Cole's goal of one bucket a minute oh, for the remember. game. Oh, you remember. <laughs> <laughs> you remember. Oh, Steve, you got me on that one. That's right. And, and that's exactly right. And if you want to tell, tell our audience the strategy on that. So Coach Cole has a strategy item that he puts, a challenge that he puts to the kids. He says uh, we want to score a bucket a minute. So there's 32 minutes in a basketball game. You want to score 64 points. He tries to break it down by quarter, though. He wants right. 16 points per quarter. Yep. Four quarters, 64 points. Yep. Eagles getting most of these points here in the second half. Yep. Uh, well, no, about half of them because it was 32 at the halftime. So those shots DeAndre taking this half, they're not bad shots. Those are shots that, that right. you know what I mean? If, if that's the, the goal is to get up a shot, Mike D'Antoni, D'Antoni style. Dribble, drive, stop, three-pointer, the rim off. Karchi getting late. They'll come with the press, three-quarter press. White shirt check back in. The Eagles looking to chew up some clock here. Yep. Crossbar pass. Reyes. Reyes. Yeah, that looked like he was a foul to me, but hey. Carsey still trying. Not giving up. Big man. Down low. 11 point game. Excuse me, 9 point game. Oh, a steal there by Okarchi. You know, Okarchi, I told you. We oh, told that's going to do it for Dunn. Yeah. yeah. So a minute 28, he's yeah. going to have to step out of the game. They'll bring Cole in to replace him. Mm -hmm. And that's the risk we take. But, hey, you know what? Let's just not go to overtime. Right. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Exactly. They did a heck of a job in these fans. I'm giving him my hand. Standing an ovation and a hand for a well-played. A very well-played game tonight. Yep. Um, yep. He leaves with 27 points in the game tonight, folks. 27? Yeah. And he spent a lot of time on the bench. <clears throat> he did. He's a very, very special, talented basketball player. Yeah, he is. And he's got people in this community coming to see him. Just of the hype from football. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? From the hype from football. Um, well, we talked to not talked about him a lot during the football uh, season and how good you know of a receiver he is and and how good of a defender he is. And when we started this, Derek, I think I mentioned I, I think he's a better basketball player than he is football. Player. Yes. Uh oh. Careful. 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 White chill. 
He's been solid today. Had a good game. Stayed on the court. Kept his composure. Good basketball game. Okarchi has no choice now. They gotta try to start putting him in for three. Cole, white shirt. Good job, white shirt. Good job, white. Good job. I thought me white shield. Yeah, <laughs> white shield. Good job right here with ball movement. Oh my, looking confident. No pressure in a hurry. Just pass the ball. Don't lose that young man. Yeah. Right. Watch out for the equipment, guys. Exactly. Don't break the camera. Cole. The Eagles is playing down. keep away yeah. here. 24 seconds left. And there's no shot clock in high school basketball. They can play this. They can do this all for the rest of the game. 14. So White Shield playing like a veteran player here. Yeah, really he is. Yes. No one understanding that. You know, DeAndre Dunn is not here. Somebody step up. It's going crazy in here, ladies and gentlemen. It's loud. So the Eagles on top, 67 53. They drop or they take out the Okarchi Warriors, which you don't get to say that every year. Yeah, you don't. Especially you don't get no, to say that every don't. year. You don't get to say that every year. Uh, and I can't even say that Okarchi's having a particularly down year. These <laughs> players are awesome. Right, they are. And, 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 and hats off to them. Commit yep. them. They came down here ready to play. They, they came, came down here. They came to hustle. Yeah. They came to play. The, the, uh, the, the word of the day is, I guess, our players were just awesomer. Yeah, he's awesomer. <laughs> I'll take that. Awesomer. Yes, they were awesomer. And so we'll we'll leave here. And Steve, our record is now six and one. Six and one. The girls fall to five and two. Boys are now six and one. So we're on a streak of five game winning streak. Yeah, five game winning streak. We got a five game winning streak going yes, sir. on. And our next game will be win. So let me get out my schedule, there, and we will uh, make sure and announce that. Give me just one minute. Okay. Take your time, my man. My phone's waking up here and giving me every notification from right. the man. I know it. Even you put it on silent, it still does it. I know it. Well, I'll get there in just a second. We'll have that announcement for you folks. Upcoming games. There we go. Eagle basketball schedule. So uh, this is the last game before the break. Okay. The Eagles will be off for Christmas, and then they'll come back and they'll play Geary here in Watonga, uh, Watonga okay. on January 3rd. Okay. Um, and then after that is the second tournament of the year, the Three Rivers Tournament. Okay. That'll, and I don't remember where the Three Rivers is played. Uh, is it Canton? It, uh, or where's the Three Rivers? Is it O'Kane? I'm, I can't remember. I we'll have to announce yep. that. We'll catch that, and we'll exactly. announce it for you when we uh, broadcast that, that January 3rd game with right. Geary. But, uh, yeah, bring them on back in here, co uh, folks. We'll right. Eagles TV on January 3rd. January 3rd. And the Eagles will take on the Bison. Yep. And that will bring them back out of uh, hibernation, winter hibernation, <laughs> yeah. from Christmas break. Exactly, exactly. And you know what I always liked about uh, uh, Christmas break when it was basketball season? That you could come practice and didn't have to go to school. You know what I mean? Yeah. Doing the, doing the, right. <laughs> doing the break. Doing the That's break. the best part of it. Yeah. So, hey, congratulations, Coach Gallagher, again, on a nice little win streak here. We're playing well, um, playing as a team. I'm very impressed. Like I said, my mouth is just still going to be wah just because of my expectations wasn't this high. But they've come in and truly, truly given us a uh, – Another hope. Yeah, they sure have. I mean, this is uh, it's a smell state. You never know what you're going to have, you know, with a new coach. You never right. know how the team is going to react and everything. And right. these guys have responded, you know, to getting a new coach very well. Yep. They're playing great basketball, and you know, they've got a pile of talent. Right. And Coach Gallagher, Coach Cole are able to bring that talent to bear. Apparently, exactly, and quickly. You know, um, quickly. He's done a great job. I, I think, you know, it's showing in what what these guys. You know, you're, it shows in your product. You know. Um, and the, the philosophy that he said, it makes sense. Now that we see them play, you know, in that first game in Hinton, we didn't really right. know what to expect. We didn't mean, have uh, the full crew, so we didn't exactly. really know what we had. Yeah, so. exactly. So, anyway, another win for us at home. We protected the house again tonight, Steve. Yep. Well, folks, come back here January 3rd, 6.30 p.m. 
We're going to take on the Geary Bison and hope to get another Watonga Eagle win for you. Yep. And uh, have another good celebratory outing with the student section. Uh, exactly, exactly, exactly. Well, WatongaEagles.tv, TV, everybody, come back here and see us. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, don't leave us <laughs> hanging there. <laughs> we got to have it, bud. Oh, man.